Welcome to Greece. I'm Luke Martin and this is 24 hours of eating in Crete. Oh my god. These guys are wizards of the grill. Oh, that's amazing. So today we're in the historical city of Hanya on the largest of the Greek islands, Crete. And Crete is known for having some of the best food in not only Greece, but in the entire world. And I've been looking forward to coming to Crete for a very long time to taste the food. So today, the plan is simple. We're just gonna eat, show you guys around some of the beautiful sights of Hanya. It's gonna be a great episode, so make sure you stay tuned until the end. Let's go eat some Cretan food. So I'm here this morning at Bugatza Iordanis. It's an institution here in Hania. It's been around since 1924, so it's turning 100 years old next year. They only have two things on the menu, and they're both Bugatza. You can either get the Bugatza with a traditional filling, which is a soft cheese, or you can get it with a cream filling, and we ordered both for breakfast today. So this one is the traditional. So it's a filo dough, a very, very thin uh, pastry around the outside, and then it's stuffed with the cheese and it's optional to get it with the sugar and I got the, it with the sugar and you can see that just super super crispy layer and then the creamy cheese in the bottom and then over here is the the cream filling this one is with powdered sugar and then with cinnamon as well and then this is my all-time favorite drink in uh, all of Greece just the Freddo cappuccino uh, ice cappuccino but they do it with this super super creamy top okay I'm gonna start with the cheese filling and you can already just hear that crispy crispy crunch of that filo dough. Yes. Ooh, that cheese is quite tart. It's definitely a little sour, but it's balanced with the, the sugar on the top. It's such a thin, thin, thin layer of filo on top. It's just super crispy, completely disintegrates. It's all about that cheese on the inside. It's beautiful cheese flavor. So this one with the cinnamon and powdered sugar is not filled with cheese, it's filled with cream. Let's try this. Mm. Yeah, so you don't get the sour cheesiness. It's a lot sweeter because of that, because it's not as balanced. But man, this place has been around for 100 years because of the thin crispiness of that filo bugatza. It's just incredible. Chase that down with a little freddo. This is how you're gonna wanna start your day here in Crete. I gotta give it up for this cheese one. I love the, the contrast of savory and sweet. And just look at this. It's like so ridiculously thin. I don't even know how they can do that. And the result, it's just this heavenly crunch. So there's a little bit of extra cinnamon on the table. And you can just load it up. I love cinnamon. And then this one with the cream, also very good. But I definitely prefer the savory cheese one. I've got like three bites here. The cream just explodes in your mouth. Man, this is so good. Starting things off strong here in Crete. That was some delicious Bugatza from Bugatza Iordanis. But I think I want something a little bit more heavy this morning. So we're going for some Euros. A euro from this really cool little hole in the wall place called Oasis and there's all kinds of locals lined up it's only takeaway and just check this out beautiful beautiful uh, I think this looks like chicken but it may be pork actually and wrapped in this amazing pita and grilled on a spit with some tomatoes some onions some yogurt sauce oh man this just smells and looks incredibly good and this spot is a real local haunt like I said takeaway only just look at this it's basically a hole in the wall they've got no seats to sit at you just grab your euro and go let's try it out oh my god 
Yeah, I'm pretty certain that's pork now. Super juicy. I love the yogurt sauce in there. It's so creamy and amazing. You get the fresh crunch from the onions, beautiful tomato flavor, but really that pita, still hot, fresh. They put some spices on there. I feel like I can taste maybe a little bit of oregano or something in there. That is a solid gyro. I love spots like this. Super local. You know, one of the reasons I love Greece so much, this gyro is only three euros. We're coming from France. You can't get anything in France for three euros. And this is amazing. It's like a full meal. So the owner just told us that this place has been around for uh, 56 years. So let's try it. A 100-year-old Bugatti shop and a 56-year-old hole-in-the-wall Euro shop, both only selling one item on their menu. Those are my kind of places. I highly recommend both of them, but both of those foods were Greek, not particularly Cretan food. So let's try to find some Cretan food next. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, with honey. With honey, no sugar. Wow, oh. it's really good. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. So I just popped into this little bakery here and I thought that I was out of luck because it looked like they had sold out of everything, but turns out I came at the perfect time. The very friendly woman just finished baking all kinds of Cretan specialties and I came here specifically to try this. This is called Kalitsunia. It's a Cretan specialty dessert. So it's like cheese and then you can put some cinnamon on top. Mink just tried one in the shop. She gave us a free one and uh, she's just so friendly and super cheap. I got this and a spinach pie I'll show you next for only two euros 20 cents. Let's try this. Mm. Oh. oh, so light and fluffy. You can see that cheese, but it's not like the cheese from the Bugatti. It's a very light cheese, not a strong flavor whatsoever. I love the fresh cinnamon on there and the dough is like a cookie. It's, it's almost crunchy, but it's still a little bit soft. Mm. So the Kalitsunia is a Cretan specialty, especially popular around holidays here in Crete. I don't think you can even find it in other parts of Greece. Mm. The cheese that she uses on the inside is incredible. Next up, the spinach pie. This one, she, she also called it Kalitsunia, so I'm not sure if I'm wrong about that, but they may have the same name, just a completely different looking thing. Let's try this with the spinach and tons of sesame seeds. That's amazing. I feel like there's a little bit of garlic in there too. It reminds me of Spanakopita, another type of Greek pie. Oh, that's good. Oh, I think I just ate a piece of, of paper though. Look at this. <laughs> there's a piece of paper on the bottom. The spinach version, also very good, but I really love the sweet version. And she was just telling us that it's no sugar, just honey. So all natural, organic ingredients. Those were some delicious baked goods from that lovely woman at the bakery there. And now we've just come to the old town of Hanya. Hanya is an incredibly history rich city here in Crete. And I'm not even going to attempt to decipher uh, all the history here. That is for another video that I will not be producing. <laughs> I'm here to make a video about the food, but definitely we're going to take in all the beautiful sights. So let's take a stroll through Hanya's old town. So we're just walking along the Venetian Harbor here in old Hanya City. The waters in Crete are absolutely crystal clear. Well, this port is not necessarily the nicest place for swimming. There's some incredible beaches here in Crete that you're going to want to check out. And I know I said I wasn't gonna tell you guys about the history, but I will give you a little tidbit. This is the Venetian port, so built by the Venetians. Out there you can see a lighthouse, which was also built by the Venetians, but then it was reconstructed by the Egyptians. And then if I turn 
turn this way, you can see right here, there is a mosque built by the Ottomans. So just to give you an idea of just how rich the history is here, Phoenicians, Egyptians, Ottomans, there is a very long list of historical events that have happened here in Hanya city alone, but all of Crete. We are sitting down now for a proper lunch. We are at a restaurant called Cucina Ipe. It's all about homemade food here. It's like a canteen style. Their menu is changing every single day. It's only a five minute walk from the port and we ordered up some classic uh, Greek and Cretan dishes. So the first is this here. It's called uh, Yemista and this is a stuffed uh, tomato stuffed with rice. They also do it with like peppers. And we also got it, the stuffed zucchini flowers. Look at how beautiful that is. So both of them stuffed with spiced rice. And then back here it's served with a beautiful yogurt, plain, uh, just au naturel yogurt. Over here is a Cretan specialty. This is one of the most famous Cretan dishes of all. This is called the Jakos salad. So it's a barley rusk bread on the bottom that's been soaked and then it's topped with like almost a tomato salsa and then this cheese there's olive oil there's oregano and olives on top as well very famous here in crete and then back here we also ordered up their uh, smoked and grilled pork which smells incredible let's start with the dacos and one thing that i love about greece and crete is the beautiful beautiful high quality greek olive oil let's try this Oh my god, that is amazing. That is so, so, so good. Oh, I love the healthy, fresh, clean flavors with the olive oil. It's so aromatic. And then the cheese, super creamy. And that rusk on the bottom gives it such a nice crunch. Look at how much cheese they put on top of this. It's just such a beauty. It's so gorgeous. I could eat this every day. This is like a breakfast, lunch, or dinner thing. Oh, that rusk is really hard on the bottom. I don't know if you can hear how crunchy that is. Oh, let's try it with an olive. They call that a salad. That's my kind of salad. That's my new favorite Greek dish. Seriously, that's incredible. So this is their smoked and grilled pork. It smells like smoked ham. Mm. A little squeeze of lemon. Mm. It's a bit dry, but super smoky. All right, let's try it. one of these stuffed zucchini flour stuffed with rice you can see spiced rice and then it's served with the serve with some yogurt here so you gotta put some yogurt on for sure that makes it so so good mm. oh my god so good too it just tastes so home cooked super fresh high quality that is amazing the zucchini flour doesn't have a whole lot of flavor it's just kind of like the wrapper that holds all that spiced rice you can see it's stuffed quite full of rice. And then with that yogurt, it's just phenomenal. Just a natural, natural yogurt. A little bit sour. So this one is, is the same thing. It's tomato though, stuffed with the rice. It's called yamista, I believe. And this is just so good, guys. So fresh. The flavors here in Crete are amazing. And the tomato's still juicy. It just explodes. That is the perfect dish. I want to make that at home. I got to learn how to make that. That's so, so good. Without a doubt, Dakos is my new favorite Greek food. It went right up to the top as soon as I had that very first bite. Mm. It just tastes so healthy and fresh. It makes you feel good when you're eating it. So we order more of this zucchini's flowers because it's really really good especially with a little bit of the yogurt mm. 
So complimentary with your meal here at Cucina EPE is a nice little dessert of uh, panna cotta, looks like maybe with some caramel on top. And then here in Crete, you're going to find at every restaurant at the end, they give you this for free. This is a little bottle of raki. And before the uh, Turkish people in the comments start freaking out saying, that's not raki, that's ouzo. It's, it's not, it's raki. Here in Crete, they drink a lot of raki. So this is like one of the most strongest, most intense, liquor in the entire world it's like 90 proof and uh, it's an anise liquor so it's got a little bit of a licorice flavor if you can even taste it because most of the time it just burns the hell out of you and yes they do drink it straight here in Crete definitely gotta chase that with some panna cotta. oh lord oh my that's a good one that's a good one. Super creamy. Caramel. Alright, mix turn. Mix turn. No, no. Yep. No. It's <laughs> a little baby one. Oh, smell it. Oh, this is really, really good. That thing, super strong. Once it, you drink it, burns right here and now it's burning my stomach so bad we arrived last night to Crete and the similar situation at the restaurant we had dinner at last night. They give you panna cotta at the end and some raki, but the panna cotta at that place was nowhere near as good as this one. This tastes homemade, fresh. And isn't it crazy that they give you like not two shots and not three shots, but it's like four shots worth of raki, which is like enough to get you a little tipsy to be honest. incredibly delicious food at Cuisina EPE. The Mediterranean diet is known to be the healthiest in the world and I can see why that food is just so fresh, high quality ingredients, really clean flavors. You don't feel heavy or greasy whatsoever after eating that. And that raki that we drank at the end, it's a digestive, so it's actually good to kind of help uh, digest everything. Definitely check out that place if you're visiting Hanya. All of the information for the places that we are visiting today is down in the description box. Box. We're just walking through these beautiful back alleys of Hanya and we're gonna do a little bit more sightseeing, burn off some more calories before dinner tonight. So we've come to Venizelos Tombs. It's a archeological site. There are seemingly endless archeological sites here in Crete, but really what this place is famous for is the view, especially at sunset, and we've come at the perfect time. Just taking in the incredible view over Hanya and the Mediterranean Sea, it's absolutely beautiful. Besides the view, in all honesty, there's not too much to see here. There is like a small chapel or church, which is pretty picturesque, but really this place is all about the view. We're just watching the sunset go down and then we're gonna be heading out for dinner. Besides the view, there is a ton of cats here. Greece has like a ton of cats everywhere, but particularly a lot of cats. <laughs> So after our healthy, mostly vegetarian lunch, we figured it's time for some meat and the Greeks, they really know how to do their meat well. So we've come to a place called Mitsos Barbecue. They have one of the most beautiful barbecues anywhere in the world, all charcoal, uh, tons of things grilling, but they've also got the spit roasting uh, souvli, which we've ordered, which is actually this one right here. So it's spit roasted pork. You can also get the uh chicken. So it's just spit roasted, very slow roasted. Look at that, just 
plate of meat piling high. We did get a little bit of vegetables because these uh, were requested by Mink. This is the Domodakia, the um, grape vine leaves stuffed with rice and then served with some yogurt. And then back here, I've got a beautiful plate of lamb chops. Guys, it just smells so smoky and good in here. Let's dig in. A little squeeze of some lime here, go all over, and then grab a piece of the Conto Suvli spit roasted pork. Super juicy pork, very tender. You can tell it's been slow uh, roasted because it's almost like caramelized on the outside. It's so smoky and concentrated on the outside. There's like a little layer of smoky exterior, which just tastes so, so good. And then you bite into it and you get all that juicy pork. Oh man, With the squeeze of lemon, that is just to die for. So this is their portion of pork chops, which is a very generous portion. What do I got, three, six, seven, pork chops on here. Let's try these. Oh my god. I thought the Conto Suvli was tender. Not even a little bit compared to those pork chops. That just completely melted in my mouth. Just gushing with juice. Super smoky once again. But man, that is just so tender. I'm gonna grab the whole thing. Just gnaw off the bone here. Oh. Oh. That's just fat layer right there. Salty, delicious, mm. but it's not like super seasoned. Just a little bit of salt and the smoke, that's all you need. All right, now for the boring content, the vegetables. Just kidding, these are actually amazing. Mm. All the dishes here that have yogurt as a dipping sauce, I just love it. The sour kind of acidity. Perfect for between your juicy, fatty meat. Oh. Okay, these are the best pork chops I've ever had. Really. So classic Greek hospitality. The guys here are just so friendly. They saw us filming the video and they said, you've got to try this. This is their best seller. It's, the, it's spit roasted pork neck. Beautiful. My knife just went right through that effortlessly. The tenderness here is insane. Like, how can you cook something and infuse the smoke for such a long period of time and keep it so tender without drying out? I do not know. These guys are wizards of the grill. Oh, that is amazing. So good, thank you so much. <laughs> this is meat heaven. I'm dipping the Conto Suvli now in the yogurt. It's just so good with the yogurt because it is quite fatty and a little bit salty, so the yogurt helps balance it out. And this just goes to show that Crete is perfect for both vegetarians and meat lovers. You get the best of both worlds here. What is this, Tobit? Some kind of uh, cake. Oh. Oh my god, every like dessert in Crete is amazing. Like everything is so good. So I've been waiting to come to Crete to taste the food and it did not disappoint. This is an incredible island full of beautiful sights, incredible history, and of course amazing cuisine. I highly recommend to add it to any European itinerary or definitely your Greece itinerary. You have to check out Crete. Just one day here has been incredible, but we've got more videos coming soon. So make sure if you haven't already subscribed, hit the bell icon so you get notified and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Chopstick Show. Bye. Bye. <laughs>